guys finally got all my shipments so this is a bunch of um, bearings and bearing cups for the transfer case I got the transfer case half this is actually the old um, braised up one still greasy uh, this half here is the new one or the well it is used but it's a good one um, but the the front hat the the other one the original from this uh, was okay so I actually cleaned it up and painted it so this is just fine um, I'll take all the gears out of there after the paints dry which should come up in the next day or so uh, get all the bearings uh, replaced and races uh, bearing cups put in and all that transmission is very very close um, there was a miscommunication so this output shaft here that's twisted um, they actually sh actually sent me this inner bigger shaft um, so I have to send that back and, and uh, I ordered the new uh, output shaft uh, so other than that it's pre lube assembly is done got uh, a new speedometer um, uh, worm gear um, what else oh I put the um, got the top done <clears throat> tops all finished uh, like I said I, I switched out that pin that was here um, and put in a uh, the, the bolt threaded it and everything and it, it did really good job I got new little poppet balls for in here where they kind of pop uh, these rods back and when they move back and forth. Put it all back together, clean, um, painted. Put it on the put the top here on the transmission uh, last night and shifted through all four gears plus reverse. So everything worked very very nice. It shifts really good. So I'm super happy. That's a big milestone. Um, I did get a new shift knob, but it doesn't have the markings on it, so I may just go with the old one. I'm going to see if maybe I can polish this one back up to nice, so it's nice and almost shiny, at least. Um, it's not broken, so I might as well just use it. I thought I was going to have the, uh, the gear configuration on it, but it doesn't, so I will polish this one up, and then I'll probably try to take some fingernail polish and and put it down in those little tiny grooves there so we'll get that done new little uh, boot it goes right on there so that'll look good uh, let's see so I got all of <clears throat> all of my parts the big shipment so there's the new rear springs brand new so I got to clean them up I'll scuff them up. I'm not going to take them apart. I'll scuff them up uh, and paint them. And here's the new uh, front hubs. They're dirty, so i got to clean them up, degrease them and everything. But um, they have been surfaced, so they are ready to go. All i got to do is clean them, get new bearing cups um, and all that kind of stuff put in. And If I remember right, I think... I bought all new wheel studs, I think, all the way around, so I should be good there. Um, here's those axles. These are the new front axles. Um, new old stock, so these are brand new. So, yet again, I get to play with uh, Cosmoline. Messy, messy disaster. Um, so I gotta try to get those cleaned up here in the next couple days because I'm ready to put the axle and the front back together um, and I did order all new brake lines so these are all brand new brake lines and I'll get them routed properly got the inner tubes those showed up so I took those down to the uh, to the tire shop so they are being installed right this minute literally so I should get a phone call here probably in the next hour and I can go get them. Those will be done. Got a new brake band for the uh, parking brake. Bunches and bunches of little parts here and there. Um, I just kind of sorted everything out and put it all with all the, uh, the front and the rear axle parts. So got gaskets and 
bearings and bearing cups and all kinds of stuff and brake mass uh, brake cylinders pistons all that stuff like I showed before I got the brake pads but all the pistons return springs all that stuff's there so I've got almost everything <clears throat> I'm still waiting on a few parts uh, I am waiting on um, U joints, yeah, that's one of the big ones. So I've got all the all the uh, yokes; they're all painted, ready to go. There, I will be replacing the uh, grease certs, uh, but that's all done there. And right now, I'm working on the transfer case, just getting it. Uh, I put the last coat of paint on the transfer case this morning. So I'll give it probably five days before I actually start working on it. Um, but in the meantime, I've got plenty of work to do now so I can finally get to get busy on getting this whole front end together. So it will not be too much longer before I have a rolling chassis. I think the rear brakes, brake drums, is the only thing I don't have done yet. I gotta find somebody who can do them in town, so I have them turned. But super excited. Lots to do now. So
for you guys. I got the oil seal, um, the oil slinger. There's a slinger in there underneath. Uh, the bearing, all that stuff is all together. This is uh, bolted, or I mean, the nut is on uh, holding the yoke. Everything turns super nice, smooth, brand new seal, like I said. Um, and then I did the, uh, the proper pinion to differential uh, spacing. So, um, there, it's kind of hard to explain, but I think I, I showed a little bit of this before, but um, these are big, giant nuts, or screws, basically. Um, and you screw one in and one out to move this this direction uh, back or forth uh, and so you 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 move them you want to move the uh, the the ring uh, closer to the pinion which is inside in here the gears so that they mesh together and so that you have um, you probably can't hear this, but I can hear it clunking, and I'm moving it about 0 0.005 of an inch. Um, and so I used a uh, dial indicator, mounted it on here, and got that to the right spec. So that's where it's supposed to be. Next step is to actually put it up in the axle carrier. Um, I got all the studs in, brand new studs. <clears throat> So now the next step is to get that up in there. <clears throat> All right, now we're just doing a test fit. I don't have the gasket on here yet, but this thing's so heavy, I got to do a little bit of a practice test fit here. Make sure I can get it up on here without too much trouble. <laughs> Good. Sweet. Alright, so I know I can lift it up on there. So I'll go ahead and get the, um, the gasket mounted. Um, I'll pull this back off, put the gasket on, and then I'll lift this back up here and mount it permanently. Nice big step forward. That's cool. Everybody? Got the knuckle together, brake uh, assembly is all done. It adjusts nicely, so as soon as I start uh, get ready to put the hubs on, um, I'll be able to adjust them. The knuckle works pretty nicely. It's a little bit of a sticky spot, so I might look at um, trying to shim this top cap just a tad more, so it's not quite so you know, clamping down on those bearings quite so tight, <clears throat> but moves pretty nicely. So that side's all done. Um, I've gotten started on the other side. This is where I'm at on this side, just to kind of show you some steps along the way. I hand packed um, this uh, axle knuckle with some grease. I had to put a new uh, seal in there, and then the axle uh, slides all the way in and engages with the differential right there. Kind of knock it in, make sure it's fully seated. One thing I forgot to show on camera is uh, on the other end of the axle, there's a hole here, and there's this uh, button that goes in there, and it's got these little washers, shims, basically. Um, to shim the axle in and out and uh, so there's a specific measurement it's uh, what was it uh, uh, four four point three eight two inches so once I get these uh, knuckle pieces these uh, these things mounted on here 
um, and, and we'll push um, I'll push this on, which kind of seats kind of seats right up in there, and then I measure the distance from this um, ledge right here on the splines right to the curve in here. That's what that measurement is supposed to be. So I may bring the camera back and show that when I get to that point. Um, but it's got this uh, cone style bearing that rides on uh, the top. Is it the top? Yeah. I believe this one. Yeah, this one goes on the top. So this bearing kind of sits up there like that. And then there's a. Uh, a regular cone roller bearing that goes on the bottom uh, and then these I'll show you here see the bearing race there um, and that's what rides on those bearings and allows the knuckle to turn so um, I am going to continue on and I'll probably come back and give you a couple updates as I go there it is Driver's side, brake assembly all done, mounted, knuckles done, everything moves smoothly. All I have left is, uh, there's a gasket here, and then there's these uh, these plates that have some uh, felt that sticks into them. And basically what happens is it kind of rides, hopefully you can see this, but kind of rides on the back side of the knuckle here. and. Uh, the felt kind of drags on the ball to keep all the dust and dirt and crap out. Major milestone. Super happy. She's on her own three feet. <sighs> Finally. Standing on its own. For the most part. I said three feet because... I still don't have the C-clip from to hold the hub um, seal in on this uh, front driver's side so that should be here in a couple days but <laughs> besides that I just got done busting my butt putting wheels on so I'm a little out of breath but holy crap this is so cool seeing this thing stand on its own I've got the differentials done, mounted. I don't have the, the caps on yet. I'll get those on. Most everything is lubed. Um, hubs, wheel bearings, all that stuff lubed up good. <clears throat> Steering is functional now. I don't remember on uh, previous recording if I showed you that the steering works now. So it's now functional. I'm not going to turn it too much because this other wheel's just sitting here leaning up against it, but yep. It turns. <clears throat> Man, I am so happy. This is just such a cool milestone. I finally dropped it down on the wheels a couple minutes ago. And it sits higher than I expected, but that's cool. Got a bunch of parts today. I got um, all the U-joints, so in the next day or two, I will be getting, actually, yeah, I can get the rear drive shaft in, no problem. And, let's see. Yeah, front drive shaft I can't do yet because, um, Right here, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but the uh, the cap, this cap here, is messed up. So, <clears throat> waiting on the cap. That should actually be here in a few days, too. Um, so, not too much longer before I have both drive shafts in. And then, I got the part for the transmission, so I can finish putting the transmission together. And then the next step... Um, is brake lines so I'm gonna run the brand new brake lines I'll get those ran um, and then I am not 
too far away from dropping the motor in. That's going to be another major exciting milestone. So I'll have I'll definitely film that. But man, this is getting exciting. This is so cool looking. 